I'm David Vestal, Product Marketing Manager for Lenovo Software and Solutions Division, and we're here at our WITSIP facility to talk about a use case for Lenovo Intelligent Insights with SAP Data Hub. This use case is called Smart Inventory Management, and we will walk you through how we at Lenovo are actually implementing this use case using our Lenovo Intelligent Insights solution. I'm here today with David Cosby. He is our senior research engineer here at Lenovo. And so I just talked about there's many different use cases that the Lenovo Intelligent Insights with SAP Data Hub can have. One of them is smart inventory management, which you have been heavily involved with mm -hmm. in, in terms of development. So can you give us a quick high-level overview of what exactly is this solution? So we're applying or we're having suppliers apply these data metrics codes to the freight that comes in. Which is the code that we see here. That's right. Yep. And they send us the inventory when they ship it. Okay. So our cameras recognize that when it comes in and they actually then can go and tie into the inventory management system right. and can determine what was on that pallet, where it should be placed, and provide all the automation so you can dashboard every step of the process. So you can go in and make the process much more efficient okay. because you know where you're spending your time, where your stalls are, where, where your challenges are in terms of completing your process. So it gives us not only the insight to what's happening, right. but it allows us to replace a lot of what was human error centered, meaning trying to avoid human error. Operational efficiencies. Right, with being able to come in and do this with a fully automated system. Sure. Right? So freight comes in, we tell them where to put it. The next time that freight's picked up is when they're ready to ship it out. So that's the ambition of the plan. Okay. And, and so it saves moving things around to denote the status, right? All right. So this sounds a little bit like uh, RFID that may be already implemented in some you know, company. So how is it different though? And, and what are the benefits that you're gonna see over and above what RFID does? Right, so, so RFID has its place. Right. Everybody knows what RFID is, right? Nobody sure. has any doubt about that. But RFID has its challenges, right? If you ask people how many people know RFID, everybody says, I do. If you ask them, well, okay, do you like it? A lot of them kind of frown a little bit or hesitate, right? It's not so eager, not so quick. Why don't they like it? Well, it's because, you know, their compatibility issues. You know, it seems cheap initially when you look at it, but then you've got to pay for either expensive tags to get range out of them, or you've got to pay for expensive phase array antennas and receivers to get range. And so okay. you end up with a very constrained system. The idea around the video is that, is that you're able to actually have a much broader field of vision. You're able to do detection with very natural operations, and you can actually change your process without having to move RFID sensors around. Okay, and you had mentioned earlier when we were talking that there's a security element to RFID that may not be as secure as this solution, and how is that? Well, so once you have an ID assigned to an RFID tag, you know, that tag is always assigned to you if you've got access to that data. So from then on, that tag is identified and associated with personally identifiable information if you've got right. the right keys to tie together. Sure. You're, you don't have any problem understanding if that DM code is available or not, right? You can tear it off, you can deface it, it's done when you do that. Right. Plus RFID tags, they're thrown away when they're, when they're done with and there are a lot of challenges with RFID tags in that regard. Okay. So there are some key industry trends that are happening. Mm -hmm. um, can you go through a few of these that are actually allowing this type of solution to really be ready for implementation right now? That's right. I mean, well, video surveillance has been around for many, many years. I did that 10, 15, 20 years ago, right? What's new is the ultra high definition cameras have become affordable. Sure. And we're actually using this video surveillance 4K cameras, right? Because they're cost effective. Right. Uh, they, they create a huge amount of data and you need a lot of that detailed data to read a DM code. You need about 50 pixels per foot kinds of, kind of data. You can do facial recognition with less data than that, right? Sure. So, so you need that much data, but then it becomes a hassle to make that real time. And so we're using the Mo Intel Movidius neural network chip okay. to actually come in and actually define the regions of interest around these codes. Right. And then we use the Intel architecture processor typically to decode them. And so in that way, we can have these very rich data streams, ultra high definition, but in real time, we can get the data we need to make decisions, to direct the put away, to recognize the freight, to tie in with the warehouse management system. All those things are possible because we're getting real time information from it. Okay, great. Well, I really appreciate you being here and explaining all this stuff with us. I hope you found this video useful. And for more information on this solution, please contact your Lenovo seller, your business partner, or your system integrator.